Hi everyone, it's Evo with Glitch Machines and today we're looking at Polygon 2.0. In this video, we'll take a look at the randomizer panel. For more videos going over the plugin's various sections and functions, please visit the Glitch Machines website and navigate to the Polygon webpage. Clicking this icon near the center of the interface brings the randomizer panel into view. The fully redesigned randomizer panel features a sophisticated randomization system that allows you to isolate sections of the plugin or randomize entire groups of parameters simultaneously. A comprehensive layout of buttons shows a macro overview of all of the plugin's randomizable parameters. When clicked, these buttons trigger the randomization associated with their label. Be sure to audit your patches after randomizing, since a lot of parameters will likely wind up at awkward values and either induce silence or other unwanted artifacts. Generally speaking, you should always check randomized parameters to assess whether they need to be manually updated to more logical settings. For example, you can tame an otherwise chaotic and possibly unusable patch by scaling back the value of modulation depth applied to the various parameters. Other parameters that may need to be tamed are things like LFO and sequencer rate, where extreme settings may be causing unwanted behavior in your patch. Simply dialing back these rate parameters to lower values, or slower speeds, is often all that's needed to bring things back under control. At the right side of this panel, you'll find the randomization percentage field. Click and drag in this field to set the desired percentage of randomization. Smaller percentages yield more focused results, while setting this parameter to 100% yields more erratic results that require more adjustment afterwards. Note that the samplers won't randomize files until a source folder is first defined by loading a file from the desired folder. Once this is done, the plugin will randomize files respective to that folder on a per sampler basis. This concludes our overview of Polygon 2.0's randomizer panel. Check out our website for more videos covering the various functions and sections of the plugin. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.